unfortunately, our hero, Pulgo, passed away. And this is where he was living. But check this out, what they did to the building. All right, you ready? Can you see at the top? Let me zoom in. They added the characters into the house. Isn't that great? So this was where he passed away, unfortunately. So Polbo died in this house on in Montmartre, September 16th. 1946. If my math is correct, I think he was 67. And now we are going to visit his final resting space in the Montmartre Cemetery. But in this final series, like I mentioned in the previous one, I'm not going to be sad because there's a very unique aspect of uh, the cemetery, especially for animal lovers that you might enjoy, and it's all about cats. So let's go. Okay, we are here at the Montmartre Cemetery and first what we're going to do is try and find Francisca's final resting place. Ah, it's all the way up here. There you go, number 24. And <laughs> vous avez ici, so all the way over here. All right, let's go. So I am uh, actually really excited to be here. I like the cemeteries in Paris, honestly. I think they're really interesting to walk through. Um, but, okay, so this cemetery opened in 1825, and it's actually on the site of an abandoned quarry. Ugh, and here's the hard part. It was used as a makeshift mass grave during the revolution. Uh, pretty sad history. So, for many of the renowned artists who worked and lived in Montmartre, this became their final home. And as you saw on that original map, you can actually go and visit many of their graves. So interesting. But, okay, so there's a really cool story about this cemetery. Montmartre is a beautiful, peaceful little village within the bustling city of Paris. But it's also home to a community. And this is the story that I'm so excited to share with you. I'm hoping to catch them. There's cats here. I actually brought them treats. <laughs> no joke. I went out and bought cat treats. So, because I'm going to participate in this story. So, 
there's dozens and do dozens that live here amongst the mausoleums. The Col de Chat, or the Cat School in English, is an association that was founded in Montmartre in 1978 to save and protect the cats, okay? They're abandoned in the capital city here, particularly in the cemetery. So the story goes that a photographer named Michael Cambazard was visiting uh, and taking photos of the cemetery. And he began to notice all these cats that were being fed by an older woman. It's so peaceful and calm here today. And I really want to see these cats. So one day when Cambazar was here taking photos, uh, he noticed that the madame was being stopped by security guards, right? And the guards wanted to prevent her and other neighbors from feeding the stray cats. Basically, at this point, the cemetery was being completely overrun by these cats. And um, the city of Paris just wasn't having any of it. So the city wanted to start a project to remove the cats from the cemetery. Unfortunately, what that meant was trapping them and either sending to the, them to the pound or putting them down. Uh, when Cambazard heard about this, he rounded up about 70 other cat lovers and they held a protest here. So the protest worked. Eventually, the city agreed that if Cambazard took responsibility for the cats, then they could roam the cemetery freely. But this was a huge project because what this meant is that all the cats, all of them, had to be captured, neutered, and tattooed. So that was the start of the Cole de Chat, or the cat school. <laughs> and you know what? It's still running today. The cat school is completely run by volunteers. And that includes the vets that assist in neutering them. They do all this work completely free. And uh, the volunteers that visit the cemetery daily in order to feed them. And there's even host families for cats that need to recover after receiving medical treatment. Isn't that fun? So there's here somewhere. I've seen crows. <laughs> One vet in particular, Dr. Serge Bollet, he's been helping the Col de Chat since the, its beginning in the 1970s. I just love this story. There's just so many layers to Paris. Things like this, just, and, ah, there's one right there. Hey. Can you see him? Hi, kitty. Oh my God, so cool. Do you see him? You really have to look for these guys. There's another one right here. Can you see them in between the bars? They just hide. Wow. Hi, kitty. I brought you something. Would you like to eat? Would you like a treat? Ooh, kitty. Good kitty. Yeah. Good job. I'm actually feeding them a, a defense food that I bought. Um, special diet. It's been cold. Okay, clearly I'm going to take over the old lady role <laughs> and come down here and feed the cats all the time. I see another one over here. Uh, some of the volunteers have installed little boxes. I want to try and find one uh, filled with hay so that um, they have a clean, warm, and dry place to sleep. Uh, Le Col de Chat, I'm going to uh, link um, to the web page. It is an association. You can donate to them. And 
I'll also link to, they had some sort of event and the poster for this uh, event is just stunning. It's a beautiful piece of artwork that kind of led me on this new sort of path. I'll see where it goes about the artist, but uh, I'm just having so much fun sharing this with you guys. Let's see if we can find Mr. Pulbo's final resting place. I hate to use grave. It just sounds hard. Oh, there's another kitty. Let's see if we can get him to come over too. I think the crows have figured out that I have cat food. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Also, I'm probably lost. Oh, I think this is our street right here. Okay. All right, we're at Avenue de Anglais, and Pobo's resting place is supposedly up here and on the left. Getting closer. Okay, admittedly, this is not easy to find. Um, so you come down to the very end of Avenue de Anglais. You'll see this really cool looking mausoleum right here. Perhaps you might also find a kitty. <laughs> but what you're looking for is first this um, gravestone with the guy that looks a little bit like Sinatra and Pulbo is right here. Took me a while to find him. Hi buddy. There it says Officer of the Legion 1879 to 1946. There we go. Quick look around so you can see what his neighbors look like. There you go. I left out some cat food so that the kitties will come and visit him. Because poor Mr. Pulbo doesn't look like he gets a lot of visitors. I'll bring flowers for him next time. Thank you for following along this whole series. I'm so glad that you were able to watch all the way through. And if you didn't, you haven't seen the other segments, you can jump on to my Instagram story highlights or my YouTube. And I post it all there for you. So I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon. Yeah.